Didn't think I'd be back here doing another one of these so quickly, but uh, we need to talk about Tipster. Okay, let's let's just get into it. That's not really all the context you need. That's that's all the explanation you need. You know, you can probably see how this one's gonna go. And next, they're forcing me to defend DSP. I already know the D. Have you considered not defending them? Because I mean, you don't have to. There's nothing actually forcing you to do that. You don't lose anything by not doing it. Nobody's got a gun to your head. You know, there's, there's, there's no risk to you if, if you don't defend them. And if you don't like these people, why would you go to the effort of defending them? You can hold the opinion that this, this, um, this process that Twitch has, this um, condition that Twitch has, this rule, is a bad thing, you know, and the way that they act is bad. And DSP and or Amaranth is a bad person and does deserve what they got in some way. <laughs> the, the two things are not mutually exclusive. This isn't like I said in the last video, this isn't cognitive dissonance. You, you can hold these two views. They don't exclude each other. So you could always not defend people you don't like, you know. It's got to be other things you can talk about when you stream. DSP detractors are going to be pissed about this. They got pissed about my last video. If you guys haven't watched that video, check it out. But there were so many DSP detractors who were mad because the thing about DSP detractors... It not mad though, are they? They weren't really mad. No one's mad that you um that you didn't say that DSP said the M word. You know, no one's mad. It's just that you're sort of missing the context of even though we know that he didn't mean to say it and he said it accidentally, the point is that he has been punished for behaviour that deserves punishment. When Twitch suspended it, right, when he got when he first stumbled and said the gamer word, and then he got that ban that was quickly overturned. That was an automated thing, and then Twitch, you know, DSP obviously appealing it and going, what the fuck? And Twitch going, oh shit, yeah, okay, fair enough. We can see that from the context of this clip, you have stumbled, and you didn't mean to say that, fine. So they, they reinstate him. But while they're there, they sort of think, well, that's, you know, maybe we should have a look at him while we're here just to sort of check his content. I mean, we have just revised our um, terms and our policies. We should, we should, you know, we should have a look at this guy. And they don't have to go very far back to find actual slurs. <laughs> so he gets punished. And a lot of people are like, that's the context you're missing here. It's not that he said the gamer word and meant it. It's that he didn't mean to say the gamer word, but he did. And he got punished. And we feel that this punishment has been long overdue because there are other times when he said the gamer word. There are other times when he's almost said the gamer word and then caught himself. And then there are times when he said words that aren't the gamer word but are still quite offensive. And nothing has happened. So there's a little element of karmic justice here. That's that's the context, you know. That's that's the sort of bit that you are, you seem to be missing out on, and when you know we're trying to say, look, DSP is a horrible person. This this punishment is long overdue. That's the point. It's not us getting mad. <laughs> it's trying to like explain our perspective and our view and our opinion, especially if you invite it in comments. Us doing that is not us being mad. So, yeah, I just, I, this is a phenomenon that I'm going to come back to later. And it's kind of a serious one, but we'll get back to this. I can't begin to tell you how many people were pissed off about my last video, basically reporting that no, Phil did not say the N-word, even though they were all reporting that Phil said the N-word. And uh, it simply wasn't the case. See, again, the, the context is different there because... When you say this person said the M word, it implies that they intended to say it. But when you say this person slipped up and said the M word <laughs> and got banned and it's fucking hilarious. 
<laughs> That's different. That's different. So, again, this is psychological phenomena I'm going to come back to. I don't want to do it all straight away this time. There's, there's a lot of material and <laughs> I remember how the last video went. So, I'm going to come back to it. But there is something here. It wasn't the case. I mean, Twitch literally unbanned him. Because yeah. they said they made a mistake. They thought yeah. he said the N-word too, and he didn't. So No, 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 no. Not they thought he said the N-word too, and he didn't. He got banned because someone flagged him. <laughs> he got banned because there were a bunch of reports saying this guy said a very naughty word. And then when he appealed and it was reviewed very quickly, when, when they sort of noticed, oh, there's a ban going through here, that's when, you know, that's that's when they corrected their mistake. You know, we can all accept that he didn't mean to say it, but when you say we're mad because you're not saying he said it, that's painting us the wrong way, right? Fuck it, amending. <laughs> it's called DAVO, and it stands for um, Deny, Attack, Reverse, Victim, Offender. And it's a phenomenon that's really common, uh, depressingly common, in... Um, abusive people uh, abusive relationships abusive partners we use Davo and, and it's a way to uh, deflect criticism and um, paint the, um, the victim in a negative way and turn any criticism and attack onto the victim <laughs> and when you paint us like that when you paint detractors as, as, a, as a group like they're all throbbing mad because you didn't say yeah Phil did say that word it puts an image it, it pushes out an image of the group and you are deflecting the criticism and that we are giving you back to us you are reversing the role DSP does it all the time I'm doing that now he did it in the last video and now I'm doing it <laughs> but it's it's a really common psychological phenomenon. It's a really common behavioural thing. It's it's a way of getting some power back. A lot of this, you know, spoilers, a lot of this video might involve discussion about power dynamics in relationships. But it, it's a way of deflecting the criticism and getting power back and, and, and turning the attack back on the other group. So, you know, painting detractors as a single-minded you know, ha, um, um, amorphous blob of frothing rage <laughs> because you didn't say, God, he's racist or whatever is just your way of dealing with us criticising you, the criticism that you invite by asking people to comment and saying, what do you think at the end of every video? So there's not really any need to be defensive. <laughs> if you invite criticism, you have to accept that some is gonna it's gonna hurt i'm gonna move on they reversed it like i mean wh what do you want me to do i'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you phil said the n-word when he didn't say the n-word uh, i'm gonna tell you guys the truth it, it is what it is and if you can't Different. accept the truth then you can move on because i'm not just gonna tell you what you want to hear see again it's anyway not, it's, it's not a case of us wanting to hear something and not liking people who don't tell us that you know it's i'm not speaking as a representative obviously but it's a case of um when you paint us a certain way it, it's not really appropriate because we as a group are, are like any other group composed of a variety of people and we will all have different opinions on things and so you know just ask a bunch of detractors what do you think of liana for an example so portraying us like that is just it's it's incoherent well it's not incoherent it's incompatible with the reality that is detractors as a group because it's we we don't really care about you validating our beliefs we just want you to be entertaining with the source material that is the dreck that dsp puts out so i mean that's what i found after doing two videos <laughs> two videos on DSP so far and watching a shit ton over the years. It's the people who are entertaining the rise to the top that, that you know, people that can do something with the part. Evil AJ is, is a legend because of what he did with the material that he had. And so this is why I'm trying to put on a, a different 
spin on things because, you know, I I could probably do a this is how you don't play because I like to edit and compile things, but this is the angle that I want because this is psychology is the interest for me. It's my thing. So that's the perspective that I can bring to um, detract content. And if it's good and if people like it, then great. They'll keep coming back and watch my videos. People are fucking subscribe. I've got 77 subscribers now. <laughs> fucking mental. <laughs> so yeah, um, it, it's all about what you do with the content rather than you validating our beliefs, you know, and that's not why we get mad. We don't care if you actually agree with Philip points, we'll question you about it, but it doesn't necessarily mean to say we're all mad at you because of it. <laughs> it's, we're not. We just want you to do something interesting. Most of us, most of us are actually old fans of Phil's who wanted to see him grow and become better and left because they were frustrated because he didn't. And so that's a thing that's at the core of the community. The creators that are most creative are the ones that are most beloved. I mean, look at El Crimson King. This video is a fucking masterpiece. And he did that with one stream. Granted, it was the, the stream of Liana's hospital visit, but still... He also did another one called Life Sucks, where he got some pretty good material out of just Phil ranting about how miserable he was since Panda left. There are people like um, Snort Burnell, who, who edits DSP and cuts in clips stylistically. There's Soma Julius Cruz, who has like um, pop-ups and interstitial memes, like um, the, the Spider-Man scene with J. Jones, Jameson laughing. And there are people like David Davidson, who, who present it basically raw, but will cut and clip things to compare and contrast so like if DACP say something and he's previously said something contradictory the, 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 the two clips will be cut together so what you do with the material is what matters most to detractors because at the end of the day we just want it to be entertaining because DSP isn't whether it's a situation where they have a very toxic community or trolls that like to false flag their stuff and it's a pain to deal with them because they have to constantly reverse false flags and stuff like that. Uh, Twitch can get really fed up with that and they can remove your partnership for that. Uh, seems a little bit ridiculous to remove your partnership for something like that, but they... Sorry. I'm... <laughs> Sorry. Green pen shit. It's my favorite DSP quote. I just love it. <laughs> it cracks me up every time it's not been able to use it. Anyway. Whether it's a situation where they have a very toxic community or trolls that like to false flag their stuff and it's a pain to deal with them because they have to constantly reverse false flags and stuff like that. Uh, Twitch can get really fed up with that and they can remove your partnership for that. Uh, Which, seems a little I mean, bit again, it's, you know, it's Twitch's service at the end of the day. They're the ones that are having to deal with it and, and they're well within their rights to not want to have to deal with something like that and to, to want to terminate a partnership or, you know, a, an affiliate that's gotten to that point. Because ultimately the thing is when you sign up, when you, um, when you get a chat, for example, you're responsible for that. You're responsible for um, the behaviours of that chat and how, how toxic they become. You know, you're taking on that responsibility. Twitch is not going to moderate your chat. They're going to leave it up to you, the the person running the stream, to moderate your chat. So, you know, if if you're failing at that, if you're failing in that obligation that you have, in ex you know, the one that you've got in exchange for partnership, then Twitch is well within their rights to sort of go, we're done with you, mate. <laughs> Bye. Let me actually bring up uh, this clip from Phil's stream. We're going to watch this right now. Watch it again. This is a clip from Phil's stream that goes into the reason why uh, he was unpartnered Big up uh, from Twitch. So <laughs> let's take a look at this. Let's see what Phil has to say here. Whether you like DSP or not, I'm sure you can understand his frustration here. He's had to deal with countless... False copyright takedowns on his account, which has resulted in temporary bans and stuff like that. Uh, the guy, unfortunately, has some really ridiculous trolls that are always on his ass. And uh, look, there are a lot of things to criticize Phil for. I would empathize with his 
frustrations if most of this wasn't actually the result of his own actions or his his own being obstinate you know he a lot of this is because of the that he is who he is you know he's he's been so abrasive to so many people and so um like I called him last time repugnant but he's been like that with so many people and he he's been outright hostile to people as well and Everything that has happened to DSP that's led him to this point, the majority of it is because of him. It's because of his actions or his inactions. You know, the the people following him around and trolling him are not the ones who made him apply for 13 credit cards. Was it 11? I think it was 11. I think it might have been. It's 11 or 30. Basically more than 10, <laughs> you know. I have one credit card. Um... The people who troll DSP are not responsible for him having to declare bankruptcy. They're not responsible for him losing his partnership at Machinima, for example. They're not responsible for any of DSP's problems, ultimately. Because he's here now where he is dealing with what he's dealt with because of his own actions. So I can't really empathize with him because so you know if he was a more innocent person if this was unfair on him if if he'd been trolled unfairly then yeah i would because it must be frustrating it, but it is frustrating i've been through something similar i was at my last job i was fired and i had to appeal that firing and i had to wait six weeks to hear about whether i was going to have a job again or not and this isn't like DSP. I didn't get paid. Well, I did actually get paid. I got back paid when I got my job back. But those six weeks, I didn't get paid. And I couldn't make any money. Because if I did make any money, I would then owe it to my company if I got my job back. <laughs> I would have to pay them. for. I would have to give them money I'd earned in the six-week period when I was off. So I... I have been in the situation Bill has been in. I have been suspended and had to wait for a decision. And I don't empathize with him. <laughs> there are a lot of things to criticize Phil for. And I've definitely criticized him for a lot of things in the past on this channel. You can check out my previous videos. I've been very critical of Phil in the past. In fact, Phil has me blocked on Twitter because I've been critical of him in the past. Uh, but uh, having said that, whether you like Phil or not, the Hope guy has kind of been like a ringer on Twitch. And this is just the most recent thing. Him getting basically unpartnered off the platform with no notification whatsoever. We talked about this earlier in the stream with the Amaranth stuff where she didn't get any notification for what she was dealing with. And she had to reach out to Twitch in order to get an answer. Phil had to do the same thing. Apparently, Phil sent an email weeks ago to Twitch. Yeah. Most of us have. Most of us have had to deal with an automated service at some point. Most of us have had a problem with PayPal or um, YouTube or Twitter and, and or, you know, pick a website that you've used and tried to get help on. It's really difficult. And the fact is that these companies are not paying for people <laughs> to keep it up. You know, they're not paying for people to comb through all of the... Uh, emails are going to get, especially when they're big sites like Twitch, when they've got that many uh, people using the site at any one time. It's quicker, easier, and cheaper to automate it. And what happens is you you get people you get people stuck when you have a problem because they've got no way of contacting you. So it sucks. That sucks. I agree with you. That fucking sucks. That's not a reason to feel sympathy for DSP, though, because we all go through with this and he's treating it like he is the only one who does because he's a narcissist. Unofficial, not a diagnosis, not professional opinion. <laughs> Don't report me to the British Psychological Society. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we've all got to deal with this shit. It... It's not automatic justification for defending DSP. In order to get the answer that he got today. So let's go ahead and let's continue. Okay, twitch.tv forward slash darkside Phil. Right in the middle of the stream. 
I didn't get advance notice. Nothing. It just happened right in the middle of a stream. People noticed that things were Typical changing. Twitch, Why did I no communication whatsoever. Back? Why is this happening? It's um, an automated thing. Over the past it, it's month, probably an automated thing. There's probably no human being involved in the initial thing. It's like... Sorry. It's like um, copyright strikes on YouTube. It's like copyright claims on YouTube. It's going to be an automated thing. I have, I've uploaded videos and they are immediately caught because the automatic copyright thing has, has, has automatically identified like the piece of music or footage that I've used. And then on my work, my videos are either um, adverts on them or you know they can't be viewed in certain countries. And that fucks me off. But it's it's an automated system. There's nothing I can do about it, and there's not a person checking my videos to make sure, you know, I'm not using a copy of like like 15 seconds of Left Bank Two or something. Um, so yeah, it's probably it was probably an automated thing. There was nobody re receiving that report, going and checking on Phil, seeing that he was halfway through a, a stream, and going, yeah, fuck it, done. You know, it will have been an automatic response, either you know, from the the type of complaint that was filed eg this is racial content or the number of them you know i, I don't know I'm, i don't know the inner workings of twitch but it will be an automated thing you know that it's not a personal slight that twitch did not tell you you were about to lose your partnership it will have been an automatic process midstream I've been trying to find an answer from Twitch. Why did this happen? Did I do something wrong? Did something happen wrong behind the scenes over there? What is yeah, we know, like, the, the, the two weeks that between it happening and you finding out. I lost my out. partnership. We just full again, of that. I was never told I did anything you wrong. I never got it. any advance notice or anything. I didn't get suspended. It was just removed from my channel entirely. Stalling for the whales. So typical Twitch, exactly what we've heard from countless different creators. They don't tell you anything. You yeah, just like automation's bad. magically in the middle of your stream or you're just about your day or whatever and you get banned or you get, you know, departnered or, you know, like whatever the case may be. These things just happen and there's no communication with the content creators. That is the biggest problem <laughs> that Twitch has as a platform. The chat. Very minimal, if any, communication with their creators. I've shit on YouTube quite a bit because I don't agree with a lot of the policies that YouTube has. Yeah, a lot of thanks. the decisions that YouTube makes. A lot of their systems are broken too. But here's the thing. At least if something happens to me on YouTube, at least I get an email explaining to me what happened. And sometimes Twitch creators don't even get that. They literally don't even get that. It's wild. Yeah, again, Twitch sucks. That's, that's a shitty policy. So... Again, you can hold that idea. I'm doing this with my hands again. <laughs> you can hold the idea of Twitch sucks and, and the idea of Phil being bad and this being funny or him deserving. I look like I'm actually, yeah, that's not true. That. Oh, that's going to be a gif, isn't it? You can hold them two ideas. They're not contradictory. They, they don't cancel each other out. You do not have to expend cognitive power to try to make these things fit. No, you can watch my previous video on that, but to summarize it, it sounded like he said a racial slur, but he no, didn't. So dude, Twitch unbanned him. That was what the DSP detractors were pissed off at me earlier today. They wanted me in my video to tell them what they wanted to hear, which is that, yeah, DSP uh, said a racial slur on stream, and why did Twitch unban him? This is unacceptable. When in reality, uh, no, he didn't say a racial slur. He kind of... He did. He said it. He said it. He, he actually said it. Those syllables that, that make up that word came out of his mouth. He just didn't mean to. That's a crucial difference that you are leaving out that affects the context in which all other claims relating to that incident are viewed. So, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's just frustrating, you know? It's not a difficult concept to understand. So, it's either you're unaware of it or you're willfully ignoring it. Because, you know, it, it, it just, it, it paints a group of people a certain way, doesn't it? It paints a group of people that watch Phil online for the sheer shard and pride of it all a certain way. And that way just happens to align with how Phil likes to do it. We recently criticized him for e-bagging and expecting his fans to, you know, pick up the tab because he can't make money off of Twitch anymore. I thought that was pretty scummy, and I thought it was... Okay, okay, quickly. Quick aside. Um, the Dexato article... Is it Dexato? The Dexato article about Phil 
and the begging. I know there's been another one since, but the one about the begging specifically that mentions, you know, the David Davis video. video. Uh, no, David Davis. <laughs> David <laughs> Fuck. David Davis is a politician. Um, that article, is it just me or does it really undersell how bad Phil's begging has been recently? It mentions that it's been bad, but he doesn't sort of say this has been an escalation in recent months because he's always begged. Let's be honest, he's always begged. But in recent months, it's gotten worse and worse. He, he spends more and more time talking about money and it, and it feels to me like that article didn't quite sell that. It didn't quite point it out. Because again, I feel like that's important context. If you just say this guy's really bad for begging, then that's the, your takeaway. But if you say this guy's begging, he's getting worse, you can understand that there is an escalation of behaviour going on there. So that gives you more context going forward. And I feel like it just needed that. So that's just my opinion anyway. If you, as a detractor, liked it, then you know, cool. It was a good article. I'm not saying it was, was bad. I'm just saying, you know, I thought it could have made a bigger deal of how much e-begging is going on right now. It was pretty ridiculous to expect his audience to pay his bills for him in that manner. Uh, but uh, having said that, whether you like a content creator or not, I'm willing to defend a content creator, even if I don't like them, if I feel like they're being wronged. Right, right? Okay. And in this situation, that's in that moral, situation, then. rather, Sorry. he was wrong. That's moral and that's fair. I can accept that. I don't necessarily agree with it, or would I do it personally? But, you know, that's your belief and that's cool. You, you carry on. But I just feel like you should always bear in mind that the option to not do so is available and it doesn't make you any less of a person for doing that. You know, if, if there is a content creator you don't like but you see them being aggrieved in some way, you, you don't have to feel the need to, um, to immediately defend them. You can sort of say, actually, in some cases, it can be justified. Or oh, maybe you deserve it. Or, whatever. or you could just say nothing you know, and talk about something else. But that's, you know, that's your moral. And I, I, I respect that. That's your belief. I just don't personally, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't go to bat for someone I disagreed with. Well, no, in this situation too, as we'll see a little bit later, because the reason they give Phil for his departnering is ridiculous. We'll get into it in a second here, though. Let's Let's Brilliant. let him finish here was that pursuant Work to the just... terms therein of my partnership agreement that I had signed many years ago, they were terminating the partnership. They never explained the reasoning why my partnership was being terminated in that original uh, message, okay? So I wrote to the Twitch support team who ignored me completely. I wrote them a second message and this time they said, we don't handle that, talk to the legal team. So I- That's what's really ridiculous too. That's what's really ridiculous, too, is Twitch's communication is so trash that he had to email them twice just to get a response. And the response he got was, our department doesn't deal with that. You need to contact this department. They couldn't even, like, forward the email. Like, I've done this before in my day job. Right, For those of you guys who don't know. That's I not that ridiculous. I mean, if, if, if you go to the supermarket and you take your TV back, you can't go to the bakery counter and ask them to accept the return. You know, you... He's gone to the wrong department. <laughs> and they're saying, you need to go to this department. They've told him which department to go to. You know. It's not a... That's not an, an objectionable thing, is it? Really? You go to the wrong department and... Some, it's, like, it's like here when he complains about not being able to find his way around a hospital. It's like, just because you didn't notice the signs doesn't mean that, that that they have to bear responsibility for it. And if, if you're at the wrong place, you know, they don't have to escort you there. They don't have... It just seems odd, that one, to me. He went to the wrong department. And they told him where to go. What's, what's to be aggrieved out there? It's on him. He didn't check he was going to the right department. <laughs> Oh, no, I have a day job, this YouTube thing. It's not my full-time gig, okay? I have a full-time job outside of this. But in my day job, I provide technical support to people. And sometimes people will email me saying, hey, can you help me out with this? And my response is something along the lines of, hey, you know what? I can't help you out with this. But let me forward this, this email or whatever to the people who can. And then I forward it to those people. 
so they can get the help they need without, you know, the runaround and stuff like that, right? Twitch literally ignored his first email. Oh, he had to it. send a second email. And we only, only, we only have his word that he say, actually sent two emails. You know. Did anybody see the first one? <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, he, he could have gotten lost. He could have not sent or not arrived, you know. He, he could have been just drowned in a sea of other emails, you know. Because this is one of the problems with automation. Sometimes things slip through the net. Again, and the bigger the website, the more likely things are to slip through the net. So, yeah. It's a bit shitty, yeah. But, it's still not really bad for Phil because of it. We all have to deal with it. Spawn and say, we don't, we don't solve that problem here. You need to contact these people instead. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous, isn't it? No. Anyway. No. I did. Over three weeks ago, I wrote the Twitch legal team and said, I want an answer. Why was I kicked out of the partner program? No, and am not. I ever going to be eligible again to reapply for it and see if I can get back into it? Because this is how I was making my living. Okay? And when they respond, they tell you, we don't handle that. You need to email these people. So then you email the next group of people. Okay, right. And their um, response another... to you. Excuse me. There's another piece of context that I feel keeps getting messed out here and that's Phil was not banned from the site he was departnered he could still accept tips he he did not have all of his ability to, to take money to make money sorry <laughs> that's a Freudian slip he did not have his ability to make money taken away from him he he was not banned he was departnered he could still make money so it's not like he was in the utter um, dire straits that he, not the band, that he and you and people that like him are painting it out to be. He was still capable of making money. He wasn't fired. He wasn't banned. <laughs> and even if he was banned <laughs> for that period, he'd have been on YouTube like he is now. His ability to make money on Twitch was not taken away. He was hampered, but he wasn't taken away from him. He was still doing okay. And then he, he got the pity books. So, you know, don't feel too bad for him. You doesn't arrive until weeks later. And he's still making money. Weeks later. He still made like $400 That would be extremely frustrating, to weeks. say the least. And then when you finally get a response... The response Including is bullshit. the marathon. Because that's literally that's literally what, what what's going on here. When you see the response, I know that I can see some DSP detractors in the chat right now, and they're probably gonna get pissed off about this video. I, I don't give a fuck. Like I said before to the guy who got pissed off at me on Twitter earlier today, I report on facts. Okay? I don't report what your feelings want me to report. I report on the facts, okay? You report so some facts. The reason they gave Phil for unpartnering him. Is bullshit. I'm just gonna outright say it right now. But let's let let's see. It's let's see him read the email. And I'm gonna read this to you. All right. I am furious right now. Furious. Oh, that is the least of the, the way that I can describe this. How angry I am right now. Okay. Are you ready? <clears throat> there it goes. He's gonna read the email. Dear Dark Side Phil. Thank you for your message. Oh, yeah, two weeks later. <laughs> revenue balance was paid on or, on or around May 15th, which is, I told you guys, on May 15th, when I got paid, I showed you all the evidence. I did get paid by them for what they owed me for as much as I had earned on the partner program until they kicked me out. On April <laughs> so there's a little bit of scumminess with that, and I'll talk about that briefly because I didn't do a separate video on this. I talked about him begging his audience to pay his bills uh, after he lost partnership and stuff like that, and I think that's a little bit a ridiculous. Little bit. Like I feel like it's a situation where... If you can't pay your bills with this content creation thing, like I'll be honest with you guys, I can't pay my bills doing this content creation thing. I don't make enough money as a YouTuber, as a streamer. I, I just don't make enough money. That's not a complaint. Okay, I'm too small. I'm not I begging you guys for money, content, but so. this doesn't make me enough money to pay the bills, especially after taxes, right? So I have a day job to pay my bills. And my criticism of Phil was, if you can't pay your bills as a content creator, you need to get a fucking job, yeah. just like everybody else does. You can't expect your audience to bail you out because you got them partnered on Twitch. You need to 
figure it out yourself. You're an adult and you need to act like a responsible adult. Yep. Right? So that was my criticism of him. And then the additional criticism is he was telling people, oh, I'm probably not going to get paid my last payment from Twitch, so you guys have to support me. He got his last payment from Twitch. Yeah. He got it. Yeah. Okay? So. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> He's still going to bat for him, though. He he lied to get money out of his fans. And, and you're going to bat for him. Which is better than your choice. Just disagree. I don't know if he legitimately believed that he wasn't going to get that money no, or if he was he just being outright dishonest so that he can milk his fans for more money. I'm inclined to believe the latter. Yeah. Uh, but having said that, like, he would show dude, the date they can't email. just take money that people donated to you and pocket it. Like, if he people donated money to you, whether they're partnering you or not, they have to give you that money. They have to. So that was a little bit ridiculous. But anyway, I looked really hard. I tried really, really hard to find incidents of Phil within the past one, two, three, four, and beyond years. I could not find anything. Really? I even reached out to known DSP detractors. I was having communications earlier today with known DSP detractors. I reached out to some of them mm -hmm. and I asked them, do you know if Phil has been called out within the past few years for using hate speech or hate slurs on his stream and known DSP detractors? And keep in mind, like when it comes to DSP detractors, these people are obsessive. Okay. If Phil does anything wrong, Everybody hears about it. Everybody. Literally everyone hears about it. Whenever Phil fucks up, everyone knows he fucked up, okay? Because he's great. I looked it up myself to see if I could find within the past several years. We're not talking about the old shit from many, many years ago. That is old news, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I tried my hardest to find instances of Phil using hate slurs within the past several years and you want to know how many I found? Do you want to know how many I found? I'm going to guess zero. Zero. Zilch. Not. Did you check Pig Pig Go? Because you can. Go to Pig Pig Go. Pick a, a slur of your choice. Pick the R word. Pick the F word. Pick the C word. Pick a word that can be used as a slur in a context. And put it in there. You know? Just hit enter. See how many results you get. There are plenty of examples of DSP using slurs on his stream. So, content warning. The next bit is every time DSP has said the R word on his stream going back to January 2019. Uh, could have gone further. I thought 2016 would be a good cutoff point because that's when he came back to Twitch. But the amount of times that he said it in 2018 was just overwhelming. <laughs> So I didn't want to go through the effort of, of finding and clipping them all. Um, so yeah, the timestamp that's on your screen now will be where you want to skip to. And if you want to avoid all that, there's also a bit of other questionable stuff at the end. But yeah, the timestamp will skip that. <laughs> and uh, okay, I know I'm telling them. Um, if your defense for this is that DSP is quoting somebody that's like tipped him or whatever, and he's not actually the one saying it, I'd like to point out that A... It doesn't excuse all the times when he said it when it's not been somebody that said it to him and he's quoting them. And B, he has the option to not say them. He's reading it out and he can decide to not say that word. He is comfortable with using it in that context, even though at points he will tell people that's bad and you shouldn't do it. He's only doing that because he knows it's a bad word. Otherwise, he wouldn't say it. Low carb madman did 100 bit cheers. Says, this is retarded. The guy is a piece of work. You'll get over this and we'll support you. Thank you to low carb madman. I don't re re agree with calling it retarded because I feel that it is offensive in this, this day and age to call things retarded, even though sometimes that word also slips out of my mouth. And so I apologize for ever using that language when I, if I slip and say something like that in regards to someone. But I do agree the whole situation is really screwed up. It's really messed up. But that's a bygone era. You know, now, anything that I showed you in my house, it be immediately shitheads would say, Phil spent this on this, and he did this on this, and he did it. I can't believe he's spending money on this, and this, and this. It's so fucking retardedly stupid, 
and messed up what these people do. That was, I, I'm 10 years later on watching that and I kind of agree. Like, what the fuck was that? It was absolutely that? retarded. They were able to camp the living fuck out of our spawns. We couldn't even get around a corner without getting sniped. What was that, man? What kind of a- There's a stand from a million miles away and shoot- I can't fucking range. see them, dude. Where are they? This is retardedly stupid. What a dumbass fucking map this is. Yeah, you were banned because... You asked if I was retarded back in uh, March, which is completely against the rules. It's an insult. So that's why you're banned. Internet Famous Recording to me at $1.30. He says, how do you think bat soup and the coronavirus will affect the Robert Pattinson Batman movie? <laughs> and DC's attempt to restart the DC Cinematic Universe? Please don't answer. I'm being retarded. Oh, it's over. On Saturday okay, for nine. ST, which is absolutely retarded, but apparently he runs it. He runs it on time, so we're going to have to be there. Uh, that was fucking retardedly stupid. Oh, man. <clears throat> Here you go, look. It claims someone left my party. Look, it was at my party. How? How do I avoid this? How do you avoid someone joining your party when it's set to fucking private? Are they retardedly, idiotically stupid? Your game developer is selling a AAA game, and you can't figure out that when you set apart the party to private, someone shouldn't be able to fucking join it. They're that stupid. Oh my god, they're so fucking stupid. Yes. Vincent Chu said the Jake Cats guy called me retarded. Well, that's messed up, and he shouldn't do that. He should know better. Survive sweet treat. The 200 bit cheers. So sorry I can't tip. PayPal's retarded. Fuck it up the ass. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. I'm sorry to hear that PayPal's not working for you. It is what it is. Thank you for any contributions, dude. We got someone calling me a retard saying Ancestors is already out. Enjoy your permanent ban for insulting me. I literally just said it's out for PC only and it comes out for consoles in December. This guy's an idiot who can't listen, yet he insults me on the stream. Well, it's your own fault you don't know how to listen because your ears are full of beeswax. You foolish mortal. Everyone was busting a fucking nut laughing. We were like, oh my fucking god, dude. This is the dumbest fucking thing we ever heard. And this guy thinks it's like something to brag about on a stream. But that's because you and I are normal. We would know that. This guy, again, this is the kind of person that does hurtful things to me and Kat. They're fucked up in the head. He actually thought that this was something to be proud of. That he had done this. When uh, most of us are like... This guy's a fucking no-load mentally ill retard. Like, what's he doing? What? Why on earth would you think that, that something like that was funny? Oh, uh, let's see. DJ Runo Cheers said, Today I almost had a car crash driving 65 miles per hour because some guy in the opposite lane tries to overtake a tractor while I was coming. Probably not drunk, but what a retard. Yeah, people do that stupid shit all the time. They're morons. Nightwing Cheers says, To be fair, though, good graphics must really drain the resources. I do not know, though. I'm kind of retarded. It's probably not nice to say that about yourself. All right, DJ Runo Chewy said, how the fuck can YouTube ban and demonetize YouTubers if, if, if they ever swear in a video, but those retards who call themselves musicians are showing nudity, encouraging violence and rape, promoting discrimination and racism, and they get away with it. Then there's Google promoting equality during Pride Month while they cannot even achieve that on their website. Okay then, thanks for the cheer. The only kills is obviously shooting, shooting you fully underwater. That's retarded. Yeah, just like this game. <laughs> just like this game. This game is not realistic, dude. Three three bar wireless connection is complete trash. I don't want to play someone with a three bar wireless connection, but they're forcing that into a tournament mode. Tournament online play, three bar fucking wireless. Are you retarded? That's the worst thing. Are you, like, why would Neverrealm think that that's acceptable? It's not. Um, Big Boy Buys Shoes said, not to sound pretentious, I was listening to the radio and they were playing Cardi B. I felt like my IQ points were dropping or I was going to have an aneurysm. Eventually, I started laughing at how retarded it sounded. I almost crashed my car. I've never, I honestly never heard Cardi B, and I never will. King of Golf HD. Get a 50-bit cheer. Says, this is, this is butt-fucking retarded. How can people accuse you of deception and lying before you even speak on your own behalf um, and give info? It doesn't even make sense. Dude, the moment, the absolute moment that I posted up the post, um, you know, on, what was it? on Instagram, that was it. Immediately attacks and nasty shit. And this is the thing, I'm announcing my marriage, a once in a lifetime amazing positive event. I'm announcing, and you got people basically doing insanely nasty stuff. You're a scammer, you're a piece of shit, you're this or that. All right, nice lean in manual ban for the person who just called me retarded. Say goodbye and uh, don't come back. Oh wait, you can't, you're banned. 
Shell Cone Artist to me, $6. That's the top tip of the night. He says, late to the stream because I was watching, counting up on Satiro. That e-fight was so retarded, but I got a good laugh out of the rage, and I hope this helps. It does, Shell Cone Artist. Thank you very much. Let's update the top tips. Hunor Tar has cheered and says, YouTube algorithm still recommends me a lot of troll videos. Where would you draw the line between funny highlights from Souls games and morally retarded detractors as a fan? What am I allowed to watch? You're allowed to watch whatever you want. I'm not here to dictate to you. I'm not your dad. <laughs> now nah, they're gonna get you before you revive me, I think. What the fuck? They didn't? What are they, retarded? Wow, well, I got down immediately. I had no chance to do anything. It's right here. Point blank. How do you run next to a dude, lay down next to him, and not know he's there? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. That was retarded. The last stand. <laughs> Save the pig the game cheer. He says, don't put up with retarded trolls. Ban all of them, dude. You'll feel a lot better. Well, no one is retarded. That's ridiculous. Don't say that. It's insulting. But certainly there's something wrong with these people. Well, that was, this place is <clears throat> fucking hidden. I don't blame the GPS. He's a little off. That was retarded. It's oh retarded and hidden. Dude, that was insanely hidden. There's the other place across the street right there. Most people have studied it and still don't know how to play this fucking game. I can beat the first dude, but after that, it just gets retarded. <laughs> so there's a handful of games there. There it is. Mega Drive 2 RF adapter. Looks retarded. Because you just beat the fuck out of these guys. You could tell they were supposed to be girls, but they were, you know, redesigned to look like dudes, and it was just retarded. So what's worse, beating up women who <laughs> are actually men, or beating up men who, who are also, you know, look a little bit more like men, but you could tell that they're supposed to be women. I don't know. You couldn't play two players at once. It was always one player, which was retarded. It's like, this game's supposed to be two players. I can only... It, it's stupid. Funsley, I don't even know what you're talking about. Funsley took me $5 because he wants to be unbanned. He wasn't calling me a, a retard earlier. I don't. I didn't ban you for calling me a retard. So I have no idea what you're even talking about. They're all basically... They're, they are morally retarded in the fact that they never will advance to a mature level. They've, been, they've retarded their own maturity by being these online people like this. It's really fucked up when you think about it. Well, Chatty Chitty said he's so fucking retarded. How nice. <laughs> like, the only time I get views on YouTube anymore is if I'm playing a hot AAA release on release week, then people will care. But outside of that, anything I even try like this, play on those battlegrounds, you would think, right? Oh, it's going to be good. Eh, no one cares. The thing is, no one cares about YouTube at all anymore. They only watch the same, like, top guys. That's it. People just don't give a fuck about YouTube anymore. If you want to watch, a, a, you know, someone enjoy a game and have fun and be entertaining, you watch them on Twitch. You don't watch them on YouTube anymore, right? YouTube is more about drama and bullshit. I want to watch a drama vlog. Then you go on YouTube. Ugh, I want to watch some faggot and insult some homo. You go on YouTube. <laughs> I want to watch some guy... Throw around all kinds of insulting slurs constantly. Well, you go to YouTube. You want to watch actual gamers play games? You go to fucking Twitch. And by the way, when I said those two... Oh my god, he said faggot and homo. Obviously, I'm not prejudiced against homosexuals at all. I'm, I'm trying to say that's what you would do. That's the kind of people who go to YouTube. At this time, oh fuck! Those are the kind of people on YouTube. Those guys, ah, I want JAMA. I want it to, yeah. That's what I mean. Fuck! You can't say those words on Twitch. Well, I was not actually. Well, all right, I said them, but I wasn't saying that's something I would say on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to make a point. That's the shit you see on YouTube constantly. So here we go. I apologize on my hands and knees that I said those words. I did not mean them. I, I was saying that that's what you see, the kind of shit you see on YouTube constantly. Okay, there, I apologize. All right, now I gotta move in. I can't, dude, they're still there. Two fucking faggots, seriously. Two little pussy bitches sitting there. Meh. We're not gonna play. We're just gonna sit in one fucking spot. Oh my fucking god! Ah! 
I'm a little frustrated. I apologize to anyone who is offended by my dirty potty mouth. But I'm very angry right now. So, for example, you know, someone says something really nasty on Twitter. Someone spams my video with dislikes or... You know, I'm playing a game online and someone turns on their mic randomly and says, Fuck you, you little faggot man-child piece of shit. You know, whatever they're going to say to me. Instead of getting so angry, which I tend to do, to be able to just be like, relax for a second. Think of something calculated to say and say something either intelligent or witty. Because I tend, nine times out of ten, to not do that. Super Sly Gaming just cheers. I don't mind homos myself. There's a gay couple up the street from me, but it's not a problem. Will you ever play Divinity Original Sin? I already answered that question 5,000 times. I'm playing part two. What is this? I got a $5 tip quoting something that has to talk about traps being gay and stuff. I'm not, dude, I'm not going that route, and I'm not even going to accept this. Seriously, I mean that. I'm not going to accept tips that are talking about these off-topic shit, and you're going to probably try to get me to talk about topics that are going to get me in trouble on my stream. I'm not playing that game, so you can take your fucking five dollars back. Ugh. Gorilla X Pimp, please stop spamming cheer messages saying that you're gay. Yes, I remember. Uh, well, no, I don't remember that saying that as a joke, actually, at all. Gorilla Pimp Cheer says this game is gay. No, it is not. And how dare you even say that? It's viewing it as an insult. 2020, you can't say gay as an insult anymore. You need to stop with that shit before you, know, you get slapped through the internet. Timbo Slice Cheer, said, I've been playing the Call of Duty beta. The beta's. Hey, new one just sent me nine dollars. Top tip of the day, and he says tough titties on the haters of the game. Loving it myself, as the uh, the old fag that I am. Well, no, I, dude, you and I, we both grew up in, you know, at the same time. I think I'm pretty sure we're around the same age. We're not sleeping together, you uh, fucking fags. Just like making some fantasy if you had to have wow, <laughs> I can't say that anymore. That's why we got a room with a giant bed, a pull-out bed out here. Can't say that anymore. Shows up tonight. We can all sleep and have lots of space between each other. We will not be spooning each other. Can't say that anymore. Not allowed. Ten years ago, it was okay. Now, it's not a joke. It's not allowed. Can't say that anymore. <clears throat> but, yeah, um... Let's go. What? What is a racist name? No, it's not. That is not a racist name. It is? That is not Br that's not racist at all. That's not what it means. Not it's at least in the United States that's not racist at all. I know what that actually references. That references uh people who who ski a lot actually. So that is not racist. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's not. Fine then, if people are going to freak out about it, then I'll do this. Because it's not. To me, I know it's not. In the United States, but fine. There. Wow. Okay, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Anyway, Greenpeace. No, that's not. It's not a chart, a slur from the South. You're a liar. You're a fucking idiot. It is not from the South. <clears throat> Blatant lie. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So, the person who tipped me is now pissed off because you guys are saying that it was supposed to be something racist, which it's not. So then they tipped me again, and they used the name Kitty Cat this time. And it's a $13 tip, and they said, per Merriam-Webster's dictionary, informal, a young, attractive female skier, per Merriam-Webster, a person, especially a girl who's a beginner in skiing. But people are stupid as always and want to cause drama. Yes, you're correct. So, Kitty Cat is not racist. I know for a fact exactly what it is. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know I know what English terms mean. I'm not dumb. That's why I put it up on the leaderboard. But people want to be idiots so they can go fuck off. Okay. Take your more shot. Get serious. All right. That is correct. See, that anonymous just cheered. He said, I'm gay. If you look up the F word in the dictionary, it says a bundle of sticks. You're right. It, it really depends on use. It actually depends on use. So, I don't believe that the use was malicious. Everyone, 
Oh, Bill's gonna get hit with terms of service. I haven't done a single thing wrong tonight, or said a single thing wrong, so no, there's not gonna be any terms of service issues. No worries. No worries. See some DSP detractors in the chat citing examples of him using slurs in the past. This is old shit. We're not talking about old shit. Okay, not... then you need to define a point where it becomes ineligible, you know? Because what point is old shit? Should we say before he came back to Twitch? Anything from before he he came back to Twitch. Anything that you would end up in a retrospective when he's feeling particularly lazy but still wants more money. If you use that as your your line there, anything since he came back from to Twitch counts, right? Because otherwise you can write off anything as old shit. Phil himself writes off things as old shit when they're not, when they're still relatively recent. So, yeah, you need, you need to define a period where things are okay and then the period after where it's counted as old shit. This unpartnering is bullshit. It's not. Whether you like Phil or not, and here's the thing, I don't like Phil. I think Phil's a piece of shit. I think he takes advantage of his audience. I think he's literally the definition of an e-beggar. Mm -hmm. Literally the definition of an e-bagger. Yeah, agree. Okay? Yeah. But I have to defend him here. Twitch is forcing me to defend him here. He's not. They're not. You don't have to defend him. Twitch are not forcing you to defend him. You are choosing to defend him. It's, his suspension wasn't bullshit. <laughs> Twitch has really strict policies against hate speech on their platform and hateful slurs. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have very, very strict policies against that. Mm -hmm. You could accidentally say a slur, and mm -hmm. you'll get banned. You could have someone on your stream like, like Phil did. accidentally say a slur, and you'll get banned. Yeah. Yeah, you, you are responsible for the people you bring onto your stream. Um, if I'm inviting people onto my TV show, and they turn up naked and take a shit on the stage... I'm responsible for that because I invited them on, <laughs> you know. I punished them by banning them from coming on the show. You are responsible for the people that you bring onto your stream. You are running a stream and Twitch, in, in your partnership, you represent Twitch. <laughs> so you, are, you, are, you have certain responsibilities. One of them is to like properly vet the people that you are with. You, you make sure that you don't say slurs and your guests don't say slurs and your chat don't say slurs. You know, you, you have to model their behavior and phil has rules about behavior in his chats so this shouldn't be a surprise you know the idea that you are responsible for the content that you are producing and when the chat is part of that content because the content you're producing is, is interactive you are responsible for that you you have a right not a right you have the responsibility <laughs> To, you have the right to bitch about it when you get in trouble. You have the right to punish your chat as well. You have the right to, to, to ban people and to not invite people on. But you also have the responsibility to make sure that the people that you're having around you are, are acting appropriately. You could be playing a video on your stream. Mm -hmm. And if that video uses a slur, you'll get banned. You're you can get banned yeah. if you're... Ch you, you're supposed to check your, the video first. <laughs> I've watched this first. Chat is saying slurs. Okay? okay. Your chat. That's You're how ridiculous that. this shit is, okay? It's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You're in a partnership with Twitch. You you it's it's like signing a contract. And your employer expects certain things of you. Your employer expects you to behave a certain way when you are, say, around industrial machinery or around food or around um chemicals or things that you know electronics you have to behave a certain way when you when you perform a role so it's not ridiculous it, to to expect someone to adhere to those responsibilities and to, to fulfill them you know and and by signing up to a twitch partnership you are accepting certain responsibilities chief amongst them is the moderation of the content you produce Twitch can't watch every stream. Twitch is not going to pay for people to watch every stream to make sure 
everybody is behaving. <laughs> you you have you are responsible for the content you put out. And when you're a streamer, you are also responsible. Well, when you're a partner, sorry, you are also responsible for the people that you have on your your stream and the videos that you watch on your stream and the chat that you have. It's not ridiculous. So it doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. If he sense. is being investigated for using hateful slurs yeah. on their platform mm -hmm. and they chose to departner him, why did they not ban him? Because he was a partner. He wasn't just a streamer. He was a partner. It's like getting a, a mushroom in Mario. And all of a sudden, you're bigger. You can jump higher and further. You have the ability to break blocks with your head. You can also take a hit. And using a slur is like taking a fireball from uh, Petey Piranha. Uh, Peter, yeah, it's Petey, the plant. The piranha plant, yeah. It's like that. You basically... <laughs> you, you, you are being removed from the partnership program. Because you've said that thing. And that's it. You still stream, though. Because you didn't say those... You're not being investigated for things you did when you were not partnered. You are being investigated for a period of being a partner. And, you know, it's like having a strike in baseball. First strike, you lose your partnership. Second strike, you get banned. So if, so if he was still streaming on Twitch and he said another slur and it got reported, he, got flagged, he would get banned this time. But his punishment last time was removal from the partnership program. Again, that's it. it doesn't. It, am I the only one that that thinks that makes sense? <laughs> that seems okay to me. You 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 were a partner. You behaved a certain way. They remove your partnership. You can still stream though. They've not banned you from the site yet because you've you've taken your one strike. You've taken your yellow card, and your next one is a red. You know. Wouldn't you think if he was legitimately using hateful slurs on their platform that he would have gotten banned? But he, see, this is that a lot of the frustration that people have with Phil is that he has gotten away with it. He he should have been banned much earlier because there are repeated examples, there are repeated offences. He got away with it. That doesn't make... That, that, that doesn't make any sense. You depart him, him, but you don't ban him? No, because... Make it he, make he, sense he, to me. Punish, I hate to give DSP... Make it, make it make sense. I just did. It's like getting a yellow card instead of a red card. It's like getting a mushroom and then taking a fireball to the face. It's like being a partner and then having that partnership removed because you did something wrong, but you've not been banned because the thing that you did wrong, you did wrong while you were a partner and your punishment is removal of the partnership doesn't necessarily involve banning you from using the site. They obviously thought what he did wasn't gross misconduct because they allowed him to keep streaming <laughs> while he wasn't a partner and he still can stream, I think. I think his page is still up, isn't it? But... His punishment has been removal of the partnership program. Use hateful slur language at all. Ever, 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 ever. Right, okay. Never. Let's talk about language. Language is how we perceive the world because all of our ideas, our thoughts and our knowledge we transmit and we receive and we comprehend through language. Language is socially constructed. We all use the same sort of range of, of syllables to, to form words and sentences that convey ideas. And some of those ideas are bad and they become slurs. <laughs> and so as things have progressed, certain things have been recognized as slurs and become understood to be slurs you know um they've become things that i mean there used to be a word over here in the uk that began with an s 
and we don't use that word anymore to describe the uh, the condition that it described because it's seen as offensive i i have a cat are you aware that you're interrupting my editing <laughs> that i got from a friend at work when she was two years old the cat not my friend and um the cat had already been named and she's named gypsy and in certain communities that's a slur <laughs> And at the time, 12 years ago, it, it wasn't seen as much of a slur. It was, it was seen by the people who it's a slur against, but it was fairly common in, in, in broader social use, I guess. But I now have to deal with the fact I have a racist cat. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea that language changes over time <laughs> as our knowledge grows and develops is something that we all accept and can adjust to when we have normal socialisation. Phil doesn't have that. The last time Phil had any sort of real socialisation, I mean, I suppose you could guess his wedding, but again, that's, you know, that's a rare thing. The majority of Phil's social interactions recently have been well, let's, how, how am I defining recently? Since he started streaming, I've been um, with just people online. So he's not able to socialise to the wider world, so he doesn't necessarily pick up on, on, on things changing and he doesn't sort of have the experience that a broad social circle brings to a person if you have lots of friends from lots of different backgrounds you will learn a lot of stuff about those people their cultures their thoughts their beliefs their ideas and all that stuff that's the the, the joy of having friends and sharing your life with them but phil doesn't have that he has a very small insular group of people that serves as his social um circle and you know and, and you could buy your way into it so it's self-selecting it has to be people that are are already on Phil's side to want to pay enough to be considered for modship. So Phil misses out on a lot of the changes that other people pick up on as society develops. And also because this got mentioned, um, right, so so basically he misses out on, on learning which things are slurs and which are not. So when he says slurs, to him it means one or two words, but to the the widest society outside Phil's gated community, there are a lot more words that are considered slurs. And as I mentioned previously, Phil can't Phil can't accept he's wrong and and, and change his thinking patterns accordingly. He's he can't he's incapable of considering that he might be wrong about this. So he misses out on learning about new things because he doesn't socialise. And this also contributes to him being quite aggressive and abrasive to people because when when you socialize you you have a manner of speaking to people that's quite relaxed and informal because you are socializing with them and they are people that you know you know when you're with your family and friends you talk a certain way but when you're being asked questions you respond differently if you're being asked about something um like, where did all the cake go, <laughs> for example? And if you don't know, you just say, I don't know. But if, if you do know, and you don't want to get caught, you'll try and come up with reasons. You will speak and answer a different way, because you are being interrogated. When you're asked questions, you are technically being interrogated. And when you, when you speak the truth in interrogations, you tend to be very short and to the point, because... You know, you've got no desire or you've got no need to bring in extra points because the truth is enough. But when you are lying and you have a lot to keep track of, you tend to you tend to talk more. You tend to bring in those extraneous details because you are you, you're telling yourself, I need to convince this person that what I am saying is true. And so you have a different manner of speaking. And when... 
the majority of your social interaction is essentially being interrogated. Phil is being asked questions. The majority of Phil's socialization takes place here, and it's in the form of somebody asking him a question and him responding. It's not how natural conversation flows. So Phil is technically being interrogated constantly. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in that mindset. And, and so when you get to normal socialization, he can't switch it off he comes across as defensive and aggressive because he is primed to be interrogated because that's how the majority of his socialization takes place. So if, if you try to tell him, no, Phil, language has changed. And now these words that you said previously are now slurs. And here's, you know, examples of you saying them that we found. He, he wouldn't accept it. He would be very angry at you because if words were if those words were slurs he would have known because he knows what slurs are to him it's one or two words and and he can't be wrong about that so phil's isolation and his insular community is not helping matters fully phil was to ever try to like socially reintegrate again if he had if he was you know if the worst happened and he was forced to get a job he would need a lot of therapy to sort of untangle all this and 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 to reconstruct it properly so that he could socialize properly because he's just he's so defensive all the time and it's it's not a healthy thing and and it's not a conductive thing and it's definitely not going to help him convince more people to give him money (laughs) when he needs them to so why would you why would you give money to somebody who Actually, there's. I was thinking about that. There's a video there. I will come back to it. But this is going on for quite a while now, and I need to get on with it. You got banned on Twitch for supposedly saying the N-word. And if you watch that clip in context, I know a lot of the DSP detractors are like, no, he absolutely 100% said the N-word. No, he didn't. No, 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 no. No, in context, it starts there. Because he's the context is he finds a weapon on the floor, and he sees its stats. And he sees that it's going to have a negative impact. And he trips over the word negative. That's the context. There's nothing leading up to that at all. There's no no um, prior conversation that could have led to that word being spoken. There's, there's, they, they weren't talking about racial issues or anything on the stream. The context is he found that weapon and saw its stats. And the clip clearly shows that he says the word. He doesn't mean to say the word. We all accept it. You need to let that idea go that we get angry if you say he didn't say it, you know. We know that he didn't mean to say it, but he said it. So when you say he he didn't say it, you just look like him. You look like you're denying the obvious because he's on... The audio and the video is there. You need to specify that he didn't mean to say it. <laughs> Because we all know he didn't. It's just funny that he did. And, and we're not angry. If you look at the context of the situation, Again, the context no con- in which he's supposedly using context. the N-word, it makes zero fucking sense. Anybody with a functioning brain can look at that situation and say, hey... See, again, right there, you, you're paying anybody with a single functioning brain. You are straying well into DSP territory in terms of the language there. You, you are painting the people who are pointing at this clip and laughing. And saying, look at him, say this word, as lacking a functioning brain. You are you are to the point of insulting people like DSP does. You when you're at that point, you should pull back. You need to it's all I think I'm gonna mind going down the right road here because that way madness lies. He was trying to say the word negative, he stuttered a little bit. Yeah. We know. And it sounded like the N-word when he stuttered. No, not sounded, he did. Like, he that's literally what said happened. It. He, he, Twitch he, literally re-reviewed the situation and said, you know what, we fucked up, we're unbanning him. So again, why would it. Twitch unban him? Right, okay, this is, this is, again, you're getting very close to DSP because you're repeating things over and over again to sort of stultify the audience. You're going over the same points over and over again to sort of gradually wear the audience down. We know... That he got unbanned. We know that Twitch thought it was a mistake. We are not debating that. <laughs> we are saying it should have happened sooner because there are legitimate examples of it. 
Why would Twitch unban him if he's repeatedly using racial slurs on their platform? Because the punishment for being a partner. If he was a regular streamer who had repeatedly used slurs on his stream, then he would have been banned. He was a partner, and the punishment there is removal of the partnership program. It replaces banning as a punishment. I think these fuckhead trolls have been sitting on my streams for the last couple of months, literally clipping every instance where it kind of sounds like I'm saying a hateful slur and sending it to Twitch. See, again, now, there's DSP. Davo. Deny. He's denying that he could have done anything wrong. This is what he thinks happened because the possibility that he did something wrong doesn't doesn't even consider attack these fuckhead trolls painting uh, painting people who reported it painting people who watch his content for guilty pleasures painting detractors basically as a big conspiracy a big conglomerate a big group that works in sync and spends most of its days doing nothing but watching his streams and clipping bits where he where we think he sounds as offensive which is weird because if if you weren't being offensive those bits wouldn't exist you know if if we clip something that sounds racist it's because you've said something that sounds racist so and then reverse victim and offender <laughs> He's reversing the roles here. We're the offenders. We're the ones that have, have done something to, to harm his life. And he is the, the victim now. He's not the one who said something racist. He's the one who's had clips taken out of context and used against him. It's really common in abusive relationships. And DSP has a relationship imbalance with his audience, right? Let's do the relationship in now then. When you have, and I'm saying relationships, when we say relationships in psychology, we mean all sorts of social interactions. We don't just mean boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. We mean um, friendships. We mean family, brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, you cousins, your grandparents. We mean um, uh, relationships with your, with your work colleagues, with the people that you work with, with the people that work above you. Um, relationships with people that you share hobbies with. But don't otherwise see but you know you all get together at like like say a rent fair or something or a street fighter tournament uh we mean uh, relationships that you have with um people that you would interact in terms of getting service from them so you gotta have relation if you go to the same coffee shop every day and you know th that's a professional relationship you're having because you're exchanging goods and services so when we say relationships we mean everything and um, you need to know that going forward, because otherwise you're thinking you're going to be thinking I'm talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. It's it's psychology's definition of relationships, which is different from common definition. But anyway, when when you have in every relationship you have, there's normally an equivalent balance of power. You are not you broadly on the same level as you know the person that you that this relationship includes. When you're with friends, there's there's generally a sort of level of you know who has power over the other. You know. Who wears the pants in the relationship, for example, to use a slightly outmoded comparison, um, metaphor even. But when, you, um, when you're in a certain position, certain positions give you um, a higher amount of power in a relationship because you, you hold something over somebody else. So you might have, if you're the boss of somebody, you hold the ability to, to terminate somebody's contract immediately. You know, especially in an at will state. If you have, um, if you're a teacher, you have a, um, you have more power over your students because you're a higher authority when it comes to your relationship with them. And, and when there's age gaps, especially, um, the older person generally tends to have more say in the relationship because the younger person is more naive, typically, and is therefore more vulnerable and uh, more um, susceptible to um, manipulation. So, relationships bring with them inherent power dynamics and um even though it's a parasocial relationship that phil is having with his audience there is still that level of power because people are here to watch him he is the main attraction and for as much as his narcissistic ego thinks he's the center of the world in this context he is more important because he is the one with the the power over his audience 
And when he says, you know, guys, we're not going to hit the tips goal today. I'm not going to put on a vest unless people step up. People will, that's him using his power over his audience to guilt people into stepping up. Whale calls are him manipulating and abusing his power to, to get money out of people. So DSP has a, he has a lot of power over his audience. And that's a pretty big concern, you know? So bear that in mind <laughs> because it's it's one of those things that I feel doesn't get brought up enough. I know we say like he, he's manipulative and he's like the, the cult of pig roach and all that, but the power dynamics involved um, are really interesting because he's so unashamed in his, in his abuse of them. And my greatest concern for his audience is that most of them are not aware of this imbalancing power they think it's okay because they are vulnerable or naive or they're being manipulated or they're prone to abuse to be you know so it's it's a thing that we all have with every relationship and most of the time it's fine i have to say that sometimes in psychology videos most of the time this bias or this theory is fine it's in the rare occasions when it goes off the rails and phil is one of those rare occasions here um he's his relationship with his audience is inherently balanced towards him. He has more power in this relationship and his use of certain words carries more weight. So when he talks about um, detractors, for example, he is painting a picture that his audience is going to take to heart and they are going to treat it like it's fucking gospel because he has that power over them. And that will reinforce his his manipulation of them to stay with him, because he will paint people who aren't, you know, fans of DSP, who aren't you guys, as mentally ill, obsessive, creepy, compulsive detractors, basically. And that makes the audience that he has less likely to be able to pull themselves away and go, hang on a minute, I'm, why am I paying this guy money again to shout at me? It, it makes it harder for them to break pig noses <laughs> because he's, he's, he's keeping them there and he's, he's, vulnerable. he's manipulating them, they're vulnerable and he's taking advantage of the power that he has over them to manipulate them into staying and the, the words that he uses to do that affect the, the, their ability to um, see things objectively so they're more likely to stay and that's why i sort of like keep twigging for the relationship thing and and, and it's when when we see him you know on pre-streams and things talking there are bits that remind me a lot of of um power balances and dynamics within relationships and that's why i take such great issue with him manipulating his audience that's you know I just feel like that needs to be brought up because it doesn't get addressed a lot and it's something that's really important within the context of Phil and how he gets money out of his audience. You know, he convinces them he's great, he convinces them that other people are bad and he convinces them that if you are part of this group, you are great. And the way you show that you are great in this group is to give me money. He's kind of a shit person in many ways. But here's the thing. I will call out Phil when I feel it's warranted to call out Phil. Mm -hmm. And I have called out Phil many, many times in the past. Right, yeah, and so do we. We just feel that it's warranted a lot more because his behavior has been going on for so long. It's it's basically terminal now. It's, he's, he's basically conditioned to be this way now. He's had 12 or 13 years of of this reinforcing, you know, it's his his behavior loop so we feel like that's plenty of time for us to sort of like go look here's more evidence and there are times when you are allowed to bring in evidence from a long time ago and say these are our criticisms and we are allowed to criticize him because of it if you don't feel like you know you want to criticize him over something that's fine if you that's your call you can make that judgment based on your own assessment of value but we are making more calls. We are making those calls more often and we are sort of like saying this thing is acceptable to criticize him for because we feel like a lot of it is. He's being accused of using hate slurs on his stream all the time and he's being- Not all the, not all the time, just more than once.
Repeated offences, repeated offences does not mean constantly. This is another use of language to paint the opposition perspective in a negative way. You're making it sound like we're saying he is constantly saying them and we're just saying he has said it more than once. You know, he has previously said hateful things and has gotten away with it. And that's another thing that he really just struggles with. You know, the idea that, you know, if, if, if I'd have done it previously, why did I get away with it? <laughs> you can be you can be punished for things you did previously, you know. But we don't insist that it's constant. We just say he's, he's done it more than once. A lot of people think the R word is banned on Twitch. It's not. It's, it's still a slur. It's still a slur and using it counts as hateful. In a lot of places, it's seen as a slur and Twitch is going to want to keep doing business in those places. And it's not a good look for Twitch if people can say that word in those places. So it's still a slur and Twitch is well within their rights to crack down on usage of it. Twitch has never come out and gave a definitive stance on the R word. They shouldn't have to. Hateful slurs should be obvious. They shouldn't have to provide you with an itemised list of acceptable language. When when they say hateful slurs, it's fairly obvious what sort of words they mean, you know? And this is interesting from a social psychology point, but typically the, um, the, the most hateful slurs tend to be um, what is considered taboo by those societies at the time. So, um, let's say... They usually revolve around um, sex or bodily fluids or, you know, like fecal matter. So um, the genitals, words in, to describe genitals or words to describe sexual acts are normally, um, they're normally taboo. But most of the time they tend to fall into the use of profanity and what is really considered a slur are words that, um, again, these involve power imbalances. These are words that are previously used to disenfranchise and... Um, basically punish a and discriminate against a group of people so that's why um racial slurs and slurs around gender and sex identity and um uh, disability are considered slurs because they are words that have previously disenfranchised a group of people and when those groups of people reclaim those words they are using those words in the context of we are not defined by this label. You have used this previously to oppress us and we are going to reclaim it and use it as a a symbol of us being free of that oppression. So um, the most offensive and taboo words tend to be related to um, things that the society at the time does and as our societies have progressed and our understanding of say mental health issues has increased words that previously weren't considered slurs have become slurs because we've come to understand that those words have had an effect on the people so they shouldn't need to provide you with a list of what's acceptable and what's not you should be able to work that out for yourself you are a grown man and so is Phil it's not that difficult a concept to, to wrap your head around the idea of not saying slurs. Just, you know, there is, you can tell someone to fuck off, but don't call them a fucking and then the R word because that's a slur. Now, I'll say this. It's only a matter of time before Twitch bans the R word. It's surprising to me, considering the current social climate and their stance on the R word, that that word's not banned yet, but it's only a matter of time. Twitch is going to ban this word uh, in the near future. I would not be surprised if they announced it tomorrow, right? Because mm. a lot of people are super offended uh, by the R word. Uh, but having said that, at this moment in time, they do not ban people for using the R word. As crazy as that sounds, as hard as that is to believe, Twitch does not ban people for using the R word. Mm. So you can scream and holler about the R word all you want in chat. Twitch literally hasn't really banned anyone for use of the R word. Except DSP. I know it's crazy, but it's true. Somebody in the chat is saying, Soda Poppin says the R word every five minutes. They literally don't ban people for that word. So, anyway. it, Again, it will probably depend. There will probably be regional things. It's not uncommon for 
a website to have different rules for different countries that they operate in. Twitter, for example, um, really restricts the ability for people to post um, Nazi content in Germany because Germany has laws against that sort of thing. So, I mean, understandably. So you can have regional um, distinctions between how um, different parts of your business operate. But Twitch could also just be sort of like saying, look, we're going to, you know, make everything uniform. We're going to bring everybody, you know, make sure everybody's working from the same script. And these are going to be words. Twitch, you know, <laughs> Twitch may actually issue a list of words, but Twitch shouldn't need to. Twitch's rule of this thing should be immediately obvious because most of us are able to work out what slurs are and not say them because we socialise more normally and more frequently than Phil does. So we, we learn and pick up these things from wider social context, whereas Phil is starved of that, so he doesn't. And it trips him up. And there probably are streamers that have been banned for using the R word. It's just that we don't know them because they're either small or they stream stuff that we're not interested in or um, they just disappear and don't make a noise, you know? Because sometimes you don't know why Twitch has banned you, do you? But either way, Twitch banned him for that. And they also said hateful. So you're all just assuming it's just the R word there. We are using that as an example. The R word is the most common example because it's the most common word that he says that you probably consider a slur. It's the one that returns the most um, results on Pig Pig Go. So don't just assume that's the exclusive word that he was banned for. That's just an example of slurs that he uses. And he has used other slurs as well. Oh, but the point I was trying to make is I looked, I tried hard to find examples no, you didn't. of him using hate slurs, and I couldn't find any. Oh, I don't feel so bad about I my phone. I couldn't find any examples. But someone took it out of context, sent them a clip. Somehow I got auto-flagged and suspended. Within an hour, they reviewed the situation said, he didn't say that, and then they reinstated the account. See? So, yeah, there you go. It was an automatic thing. That's why he was banned for it. There you go, straight from the pig's mouth. Whether you like Phil or not, whether you like any creator or not, you should not be okay with a creator getting punished for something they didn't do. You simply shouldn't. What about if that creator has previously done things and not been punished for them? So when eventually they do get punished for something, give, doing you the, the privilege of assuming that he actually didn't do anything. What about if that creator that punishment is seen as a bit of karmic justice for all the other times that he has done something and not been punished for it. Or what about if that creator has misunderstood why he's been dismissed, why his partnership has been removed? Because he thinks the word slur means the N-word and Twitch defines slurs differently. And DSP's usage of certain words falls under Twitch's definitions. And DSP can't see that because he can't comprehend that other words that he uses might be slurs. He only knows of one or two words that are for sure definitely slurs. And they're the big ones that he only doesn't say because society tells him it is bad and he knows that it is bad. But he has previously said them and caught himself saying them. Thumbs down, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry for the repetition, but you don't seem to be getting it. Okay. Because, yeah, maybe today it's happening to a creator you don't like. In this oh, case, no, 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 like fuck them. off, no. <laughs> no, don't go all past an email on us. Fuck off. No. <laughs> don't do that whole, it could be someone you like tomorrow. No. Not for DSP. No. No. Dark side Phil, right? But tomorrow it could be a creator that you do like, right? Then We've seen these. If, if tomorrow it's a creator you do like, then you have to accept that the creator that you do like is fucked up. And you'll probably follow them to YouTube. Them being punished for something that they didn't do. 
You sim that anony mouse has just tweet has just uh, put a link up in chat. I am going to. I'm going to go looking for that in a minute because he says here is an instance of Phil literally using the XLO under the current Twitch partnership that was cancelled. Have fun and be entertaining. You watch them on Twitch. You don't watch them on YouTube anymore, right? YouTube is more about drama and bullshit. Nah, Phil, I, I have to call you on that one. It's not against the law for Twitch to punish you in this manner. It's fucked up. You could argue it's immoral, but it's not against the law, bro. It's not against the I don't law. think it's I'm necessarily sorry. immoral because he's in accepting the contract he has essentially consented to um, operating uh, on that moral principle. You know, he, he, he's accepting that these are um, the behavioral prescriptions and the, um, the standards that we expect of you. And if you don't adhere to these, then we will dismiss you. And that's the, the moral framework with which Twitch operates. And by accepting the contract there, he is consenting to that. So you can't really, I don't know if you could argue that it's necessarily immoral. It's, it's immoral from the context of um, a big faceless corporation just shitting over creators willy nilly. But this is not a case of that because there is a valid reason behind his dismissal. So, I'm not sure how it holds up, but you're right about it being legal. I completely agree with you there. <laughs> it's, it's just fucking hilarious because it's it's a sign of his narcissism that it suddenly jumped up into being a serious legal thing. It's not violating the terms of service in, in a program. It's being fired from a job without being told why. And that, that moves it into the legal realm for Phil. <laughs> I want Nick Ricator's opinion on this. Somebody somebody get Nick. Um go have a field day with this. If he's streamed, please link me to his stream. I need to see it. If he was repeatedly using hateful slurs on the platform, they would have banned him. Unless he would not he got away with it. See, again, a lot of criticism from the detractor community towards Phil is based around the idea that he has escaped punishment multiple times. He has gotten away with this sort of behaviour many many times and he should have been punished for it earlier if the if if the system worked perfectly dsp would have been banned from twitch years ago but the system is flawed because it's automated and that allows for abuse and it allows for errors and it allows for biases to be coded towards how the site is run so dsp has gotten away with a lot he has had a lot of luck in his run on twitch so yeah, you can't use you can't use that as as an as an argument because our counter to that is he should have been caught earlier. It's not that he didn't do these things, that's why he didn't get caught earlier. It's that he should have been caught earlier. Today. You can go over to Twitch and go to the Dark Side Phil channel. It's, yeah, it's still, still there. there. It still exists. Mm -hmm. Because he hasn't used hate slurs. He just hasn't. No, he has. So he has. He's gotten away with it. He has used them. He's gotten away with it. For whatever reason. Some people think that he, he, the person that he was friends with at Twitch was quite high up and sort of managed to protect him for a bit. And, and I'm, I'm not sure that's necessarily true. But I, his... Is it partnership manager? The, his associate at Twitter. The, whoever he, his point of contact was. Undoubtedly pulled some strings to save him a couple of times. But I don't think they're responsible for the majority of it. I think most of it is just pure dumb luck. Um, I think it's things being reported and not getting flagged or taken seriously or being reviewed and discarded by someone who's biased or even just like not going through completely. It makes sense for him to unpartner him for hate slurs, but not ban him for it. Again, that's, it, it just became a safety sense. net for him when he became so a So they are wrong. Became a level of privilege. This is completely wrong. I am innocent. And again, there's there's DSP dismissing the evidence against him. There's his narcissism, like I mentioned last time, dismissing the evidence. She gave him evidence. They told him that we have found repeated slurs, and he is saying it is wrong. He's immediately dismissing it. It's just a throwback to my previous video, but I wanted to bring that up because while I was editing, I noticed that. He, he, he has it, and he says it's wrong, and it's their reason. They've given him a reason, but he doesn't agree with it. So he's dismissing it.
because he can't countenance the idea that he was wrong somehow. He was in the wrong or he is the guilty party. He, his ego won't allow it. His narcissism won't let him do it. So he just dismisses it. You may be offended by some of the statements he makes and stuff like that, but nothing he has said, nothing he has said qualifies as a hateful slur. One of my cousins was born with a condition called Fragile X Syndrome. I, I would like you to Google the, the symptoms. I would like to Google the effect that Fragile X has on a person's life. And um, there is a certain word that my cousin got called because of this by people who didn't understand his condition or what was going on, uh, why he would act the way he acted, for example. And, and DSP uses that word a lot. And I, I find it offensive. But more than offensive, it's a slur. It's a hateful slur. And he has used it repeatedly. The, you need to disconnect the racial aspect of the word slur from the word slur because that's the that's the level that DSP is operating on. That's that's the, the view that he's taking. That slur is inherently tied to a racial aspect. And there are other aspects to be considered when you are looking at what is and isn't a slur. <sighs> So when DSP uses that word, <clears throat> he he is using a word that has been used against um, against people in 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 a negative way. That's why it's seen as a slur. And DSP either nobody is told that, or he didn't get the memo. But to say that he doesn't use slurs when he really does is quite offensive if if you somehow know I mean I have I have LGBTQ family and friends. There's another word for people like like my family and friends who you know that that who who hear that word thrown at them as a as, as an insult. It is a slur. DSP has, has said that word repeatedly. And when he does it, he's, he's, he's saying it in a negative context. He's saying it with malice and to insult and to demean and belittle. He is using it as a slur. He is using these words as a slur. And I am a straight white man, so I am not personally affected by those words. But... I can still find them offensive and hurtful because I know how they have been used against people that I love and that I care about. So DSP has used words that are slurs. They may not be the gamer word, but he's used words that are slurs and Twitch have found out about that. And it may have been a long time coming, but they've done something about it. And DSP has nobody but himself to blame for this because nobody made him say those words. He used those words out of his own choice <laughs> because he didn't think they were slurs. And that's on him. It's on him because he's the one running the stream, so it's his responsibility to make sure that the things that he's saying and doing aren't offensive to people. And he, he has neglected this responsibility, and it's led to this. A bit about my cousin really upsets me. I'm sorry. It's it's a word that I've seen being used to hurt, and I don't I don't accept the argument that DSP has never used slurs on his streams because he fucking well has. He has said that word that people have thrown at my cousin. And 
he escaped punishment for it for a long time, and he's now caught up with him. So, yeah. Um, well, let's let's get this finished because I'm bursting for a piss. Or he would have been banned on the platform. No, okay. It's, it's not an automatic thing. Sometimes things slip through the get through the net. You know, it's. Because he didn't get banned for it then is not an argument against banning him for it now. You can be punished later for things you have done previously. If this is the level of defence that Phil has, he is fucked. Because he, these arguments, it's pathetic that, that, that he relies on them. It's pathetic that people buy into it because... I don't see how in any other circumstance it's it's a defence to say I did it previously and I didn't get in trouble for it then. Well, you're getting in trouble for it now. And if you agree with that, fine. If you don't, tough shit. I'm not going to appeal to your feelings. That's not what we do here. Cool, right. See you later then, tipster. I'm going to go for a piss and then I'm going to come back and try and edit this down. Fuck me. I didn't expect to do one quicker, and I didn't expect to do one that's like almost twice as long as the previous one, but I'll hopefully be able to chop quite a bit out of it. Um, I I would like to actually end on a positive note. I would really like to thank people for um, commenting and watching and subscribing, because I'm, I'm over like 70 odd people subscribed to me now, and I'm <laughs> well happy about that. <laughs> and... Um, and yeah, that, that video got a bunch of comments, a bunch of likes. One dislike. Thanks, Phil. Thanks for watching. And um, just, yeah, thanks for the support, everyone. I really appreciate it. It made me feel like, you know, hey, yeah, I can contribute to the detractor community. I always wanted to sort of like do like a, this is how you don't play something, but other people did them better. But I appreciate like that I can, I can provide this perspective. I can, I can take a look at, um, fill through this lens i guess and that people out there are interested in it and i want to i want to see it and you know uh, appreciate that i did it is is really cool and i really i'm, I'm really chuffed i'm really happy and uh, thanks everyone so oh, fuck off windows um yeah <laughs> thanks i really appreciate it. it's really really made me happy so um Big up, super crazy. I hope your video's coming along well. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I, I, I'm curious as to what you've got. So, take care, everyone. See you later. What the fuck are you fucking talking about, you lame brain pieces of dumb fucking shit? Hateful slurs. Hateful slurs. <laughs> There's a user in the chat here, so there's a user in the chat here, DSP haters taking L's for nearing two decades, give it up folks. Mate, have you seen the Metal Gear Solid 2? This is how you don't play? It's a fucking work of art. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the work that Secret Life puts into to their content? Have you seen the top 10 DSP 2020? Three hours of of of, um, of magic. They're my they're my inspiration when it comes to editing. When I edit me other stuff, I, I said, God, I wish I could be like Secret. <laughs> Secret's amazing. Todd asked Diesel if he's worried about Sean's new bodyguard Sid. He cuts a bland babyface promo like, "You want a war? You got a war. I'll show you why I'm champion." And then he just trips himself up and just gets really loud about it to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you avoid someone joining your party when it's set to fucking private? Are they retardedly, idiotically stupid? You're a game developer selling a AAA game, and you can't figure out that when you set apart the party to private, someone shouldn't be able to fucking join it. They're that stupid. I'll tell you one thing. If I did, I would react the same way if I was caught in a promo and stumbled. Uh, ah, you know, and run. You know. <laughs> like... I know for a fact exactly what it is. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know, I know what English terms mean. Pursuant to the terms contained within, but there's no terms in the email.